We're here today speaking with the President and Chief Executive Officer of Farm Credit Canada, Mike Hoffert. Uh, nice to see you and I'd like you to give us a, a few moments of your time to tell us about yourself, where you're from and uh, how you got into that chair. And been with Farm Credit Canada for, uh, for 26 years and, and uh, before that though, born and raised in Saskatchewan, a uh, small town, uh, Turtle First, Saskatchewan. My uh, father was a district girl just up there. And from, uh, from there, as his career progressed, we moved to Regina and I did my grade school in Regina, which is a little unique. A lot of our staff, for sure, born and raised on the farm. And my story is a little different. My, my parents, uh, when we were, we didn't vacation anywhere other than the farm. Uh, they had tight connections uh, with their family farms and that's where we went. And that kind of is why I would have, I think I got into agriculture. I had a real passion for, for the industry, what we did uh, on the farm when we were there and, and helping out. And, and it just seemed like a natural thing to follow in my dad's footsteps to the University of Saskatchewan. And, and a degree in ag economics and, and uh, kind of things progressed from there. I was able to, to start with FCC uh, back in 88 uh, as a relationship manager and if people remember back then uh, times were a little tougher for agriculture. It was uh, kind of towards the end of the farm debt crisis but there was lots of work that was uh, still to be done and so working with farm families that were uh, had some challenges and uh, yeah, that's where I cut my teeth and, and was able to stay long enough to actually see the, the industry turn and, and work with farm families that uh, we're, we're bringing in the next generation, thinking about how they could expand, how they could diversify, and, and uh, it was really, a, I think, a great opportunity to see both sides of it. So, uh, you know, that was kind of my early stages. I moved to our corporate office in 97 and have done several jobs uh, that kind of led me eventually to this role. You mentioned that you're optimistic, and I think really, you look at where agriculture is now and uh, the technology, how it's changed it you don't really have to look too hard to be fairly optimistic and see possibilities. What do you see that the possibilities are in the future and, and how will we get there? There's lots of conversations around the, the key macro drivers. So bigger populations, populations with more wealth, and that's going to drive you know, demand for food. And the other side of that, that picture is that there's very few countries that can produce more food uh, than they're going to consume. And Canada is one of those ones that I think is really well positioned. Uh, we grow abundance, we have quality, we've got the safest food I would say of anywhere in the world and we're also great stewards of our industry in terms of the land and how we, you know, the husbandry of our, our livestock and so all of those things I think add up to great opportunities for us to kind of build upon where we're at and to, uh, you know, how can we feed that 9 billion people that are going to be here in 2050 and, and what might we want to do for our industry in terms of evolving it to make sure that it's as effective, uh, you know, in, in accomplishing that as it can be. You're a man of vision, as I understand. Uh, curious to know what your opinion is, how your vision for moving forward with FCC blends with the vision of agriculture. How do we support young people to get in the industry and kind of look at those multi-generational farms, multi-family farms that we serve today and, and is there, do we have the right products and services or do we need to keep evolving that? I think there's opportunities for us to, to do that. Uh, and then when you look at where we, I, from an industry perspective, uh, we've been an exporter of raw products uh, on mass. Is there something more we could do from a processing perspective that would, you know, grow the industry, grow our economy, grow our rural economies, and still really drive at, at feeding that growing world? So I think, you know, for FCC, we're well positioned uh, to be able to contribute in those thing, those areas. Uh, we definitely won't do it alone. Uh, but I'd like to say, I'm, I'm very optimistic that there's a there's a great path for all of us on this. Nice to have a conversation with you. Thank you. It's really great to be here with you.